What is up, Nair Army? I am GameNair5 coming at you with a brand new video. And today, I am unboxing, building, and review and reviewing another LEGO set. The last of the LEGO sets that have a coat that I have. Uh, the last set that I did was uh, the Razor Crest that had a coat in it, or Vala 7, if I'm. If I do believe this set has a code that unlocks this ship, the Resistance ITS Transport from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at the Disney Parks. So this this um this ship is used in Rise of the Resistance at Galaxy's Edge in both Disney World and Disneyland, and I think uh, it looks. I think this looks really cool. I've I haven't gone on the ride. I haven't been to Disney since uh, Galaxy's Ed Galaxy Ed Galaxy's Edge has opened, but I do plan on going there eventually. This is nowhere near as big as uh, yesterday as the last set that we built, which uh, the Razor Crest. I still have the box. It was one thousand twenty three pieces. This one is 932 pieces. This one's no longer, no, nowhere near the size. But then it is recommended for ages 9 and up. It's a uh, set number, I don't know if I did this for the last one. It's 75293. So, uh, yeah. Um, we get four, we get two minifigures and two droids in this set. We get, uh, the Moradi and Lieutenant Beck, and uh, we got we also get an astromech droid and a gunk droid. So uh, yeah. Then uh, on on this one, unlike the Mandalorian one, uh, uh, unlike the Razor Crest, we got we had um, Man uh, the Jaren at the top. This one. Pretty much like pretty much all the Star Wars sets of uh, this year, of 2020 actually, no, it, it's 2021 now. Um, they have Darth Vader, this one has Darth Vader, and uh, yeah. So, on the back, we get pretty much the same thing as Ray's Crest, it shows pretty much everything that is in the set, what happens, and it says that there is a secret code to unlock the ship. The, the back of the uh, instructions, <laughs> and um, yeah, so it looks pretty good. Um, I do, I do like the look of it, and uh, it it has a lot of detail just from the look of this box. I don't think it'll have nowhere near as many detail as much detail as Razor Crest, but it still looks like it has a lot of detail. Um, I'm still very curious how many bags this will be, so, uh, yeah, I guess, without further ado, let's open this. Today, I'm actually smart enough to grab my scissors before I hit and record. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get this open. I don't know why, this box is so much thicker than, uh, the Razor Crest box, but the Razor Crest box is a lot bigger. I don't know, I don't understand that. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Whoa! That is a lot of eggs. How many bags do we got here? Five. Okay, so that's bag two. That's bag eight. What the? That's bag four. Three. Two on the floor. Six, seven, 
So, eight bags. What? This shit has more bags than the razor press. That don't make sense. Like the question is, is the sticker sheet is small than the razor crest? <laughs> My goodness. Anyway, I think it's time to uh, actually build this thing. I'm really, I'm really uh, surprised by eight bags. Anyway, let's do this.
And I am back. It is done. Last are the big sets, next are the heads. <laughs> it might sound weird, but I'm not lying. I have like three heads that I still need to build. Anyway, the Resistance ITS Transport is now complete and will sit right next to the uh, Razor Crest in uh, my TV cabinet in this office. So, uh, first things first, let's look at the minifigures. I have one of them hiding in the cockpit of the of the ship. Okay, and so this. Oh wait, no. Oops, got his gun. <laughs> Do this is Lieutenant Beck. Yeah, he's the Mon Calmar. Pretty much nothing that special about him. Anyway, this is the Moradi, who is uh, someone you see r roaming around um, Galaxy's Edge. She's not actually involved in the ride at all. Lieutenant Beck is, and the droid. I uh, don't think the gunk droid is. I've watched people go on it. I can't remember if the comic droid's involved. Anyway, uh, this is the droid. Pretty much, the, it's the droid that helps you escape. Then, um, this is the gonk droid. Pretty much a normal, ordinary gonk droid. Unless you have the special festive one from the advent calendar. I have him. <laughs> I was thinking of being funny and being like, Here is the gonk droid! I decided against that, though. Anyway, with that, let's look at the actual shuttle. The look of this, the look of it is absolutely amazing. Like, I think, like, once again, knock this one out of the park. So, first things first, let's show you everywhere it opens. Uh, opens here. So you can put, uh, Beck inside, and there's a sticker in there, but... Probably won't be able to show you it because it's on a white plate. <laughs> I'm going to try though. <laughs> yeah, you can barely see it. There's a sticker in there. <laughs> That's as good as I can get. Uh, as good as a view as I can get you guys. So, it can only fit one minifigure, so Beck. We'll go inside, and we'll be our test, our show person. See? Beck is now inside, and you close it up. Like that. And then... It opens up here, like that, and same goes for the other side. And then, on the top, even comes off, like that. So it can open up quite a bit. <laughs> I think it actually opens up more than um, uh, the Razor Crest. Actually, no, the Razor Crest, never mind. <laughs> the entire bottom opens up. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, um, then in, in the, uh, like, where the ride, where you go in the ride, um, where you go, there is a crate. Now, I put all the red, uh, little ammo things for the, uh, four, four little guns on the thing. There's two at the front, and two at the back, hidden in the engines. And, uh, I'm guessing... Where did I put his gun? There we go. I'm guessing this is also meant to house Beck's gun when he's, uh, flying. So let's just... I know in, in the ride, it, I'm pretty sure it's 9-nub, uh, flying it. 
So that's not really accurate, but oh well. <laughs> Can't ask for everything. Anyway, uh, so now that we've uh, shown uh, everything uh, and how it opens, let's just look at the detail. There's uh, three stickers on each, there's four stickers on each side, three here, three here, then one on one uh, up here. And then there's one in here also, but uh, not many stickers. I think they were all used in like one bag or two. They were they were used up pretty fast. I don't like stickers, so I'm okay with that. At the back, they have like the view thing uh, into space, which is really cool that they worked that in. As you can see here, you can see the little stud shooters. Then there's the stud shooters at the front that can move, which were really hard to get studs in, they're probably never going to come out, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I really like this, I like, this is, if I were to compare the two, this one doesn't do, the Razor Crest still does laps around this in coolness, but this ship is still really cool, like, um, I really like this ship, um, I do wish they would have done uh, more, like keep to the theme of the ride and have like a uh, nine nub as the other minifig instead of uh, Moradi. But still cool. I have a feeling this is going to be first of many sets from Galaxy's Edge though. <laughs> uh, yeah. So with that guys, I'm going to call it here. I'm Game Near 5 from the Army Team. Sign off. I hope to see you all in the next video. Goodbye!